177. That is a all-time new low um, for this whole last few years. So, dude, I am so excited. Um, I gotta go take a shower. We're gonna go ahead to the gym. Um, gotta get my uh, my thermogenic in before I do my cardio session. Fasted, um, and then today we'll hit legs. But uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. What the frick is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, it is August 22nd, and uh, it's currently 7.30 a.m. Uh, we're getting a little later start than I'd like today um, for our fasted cardio, but we're going to make do. Obviously, sleep is very important. If nothing else I've learned in this prep is that proper rest and sleep goes a long way. And I realize I never really have proper sleep or proper rest but uh anyway i digress so we're gonna head to the gym um and we're gonna do our fast cardio we're gonna stick to the treadmill today um i am using a um thermogenic uh, i know it's been a while since i made a video honestly a while um and uh I'm using a it's called lipo 6 it's a or lipo 6 it's a um, thermogenic rub and then you wear a waistband um, and then you also have a thermogenic pill um, which is a 200 milligram caffeine pill um, but it's also kind of like a dietary pill um, and honestly it's been making all the difference all of the lower loose skin or, or um, lower fat that's a little more stubborn to get off i've been noticing i'm getting a lot tighter so it's definitely working um so we have that and um i also filmed a little intro you guys saw i am 177 that is like a huge deal because uh originally i thought i would step on stage at 173 um we kind of have faced uh some little little things that have come up food wise dietary wise stuff um so on and so forth so um my coach wants me down into like uh low 160s probably and then we're gonna add carbs back in a little bit higher um and then we'll probably step on stage around 168 so um i'm just going with the plan i got a coach who is handling the nutrition the posing everything um and then you know so i'm just trying to trust the process it's been hard but uh i'm making do with what i got we're gonna go head to the gym and then i will catch back up to you guys later all right guys so to catch you back up as well um i kind of figured you know what i made videos um before this but I don't know if I've really properly caught up um, what's going on. So I'm doing a four on one off split. So I have one off day every four days. Um, my chest and my biceps are together on a day. My shoulders and tries are on a day. Uh, back is by itself because it's a big movement. Legs are by itself because it's a big movement. Um, and then occasionally if I have to do a five uh, on one off split which has happened because of um, certain days that I work out with my coach I have to adjust uh, I'll hit accessory movements or more focused movements such as I'll do like a mixture okay we'll do legs abs and weak points so like delts or something so I'll do more focused stuff so like this week will be uh, a rear delt, a hamstring, uh, and triceps. So uh, just for an example, but um, I've been doing that split for a while, even since I was 212, so since the bulk. Um, pretty much started, honestly, when it, like, when it mattered. Um, and it, it's definitely made a difference. I'll tell you that for sure. Also, I have um, definitely food has been a lot different. Low carb days are 
about three to four times a week. Regular carb days are the rest. Um, my regular carb days, um, I have mostly meat proteins, I should say at least. Um, I have no dairy, absolutely no dairy. Um, no fruit, which uh, sucks. Um, we've cut out sauces and any um, condiments that aren't zero cal. So um, right now, like, when I make eggs, I have an avocado oil spray um, for the good fats because um, we're still trying to keep energy um, and I burn a lot of fats. I thought I would catch you guys back up with kind of what's going on with that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm also uh, doing a protein day. So it's all protein, meaning like the only thing I have the whole day is uh, fish and chicken so um, that's definitely crazy but yeah we just got to the gym and um, we're gonna get this cardio session in um, a few other things I wanted to kind of tell you guys about too is um, you guys saw that wall of motivation my my dream board per se and uh, currently what I got going on with that is I made this board of things that I wanted to achieve this year um, and then also some reminders. I'm currently really trying to better myself as a human, um, not just as a competitor. I think a lot of us get, especially me, the first few weeks I got so in my head and so like just I need to be perfect and you know what I didn't want to step on stage and be perfect absolutely I want to win absolutely but at the end of the day I want to show up with the best package I possibly can knowing that I had never left um, something on the table that was undiscovered um, so I'm just gonna do my best and that's all we can ask for so anyway we're gonna go get this cardio session in and then I will see you guys back for a lifting session later peace Alright guys, so as you can see I just did my cardio, so I had an hour, um, I added 10 minutes as well, um, I'm trying to add back in the Stairmaster, I stopped doing it for a little bit, um, or was doing very little of it, just based because uh, sometimes it bothers my knee, but um, I've also been rehabbing like I call it rehabbing, but I've been doing like conditioning work with my knees and I feel great right now. I mean, I'm exhausted, but um, caffeine's wearing off. But uh, we're gonna go head home. Uh, my first meal, meal one, uh, is gonna start at 9.30. I'm getting to the point where, well, I'm, you know, nine, eight and a half weeks out pretty much because uh, this is Tuesday. So I'm eight and a half weeks out pretty much and um, the the hunger starting to set in you know the the getting hungry at night and um i'm chewing sugar-free gum uh sometimes just to give me that little um energy boost but having something to chew in your mouth helps curve those cravings um so i've been doing that but uh meal one is going to be seven egg whites and one whole egg um, and so we're gonna crush that meal because I'm starving. Um, we're gonna do a 10, 10 o'clock, or no, we're, we'll do a 10.30 meal too. Uh, that's meal two. It's not really a meal. It's a um, protein shake. What I've been doing is I make it like a, um, like a Wendy's Frosty. So basically what I do is, uh, it's just chocolate vegan protein. So I use uh, a pea protein. Uh, I was I switched back over to whey, um, and then the whey was bothering me. I tried two different kinds. Um, I think I just have a sensitivity issue with it, um, so I went back to the pea protein, which what I was doing all off season as well. Um, and then when I cut two years ago, when I was doing the Spartan race, and it worked really well then. So I instead of doing the vanilla though, I did the chocolate again to curve the cravings. Um, so what I've been doing is I'll do like about eight to 10 ounces of water, uh, about three ounces of ice, and then I'll do a um, two scoops, which is about 50 grams of protein, and then um, I just blend it up and it makes it real nice and chunky and it's almost like ice cream, uh, which texture on prep, I've realized, is just 
a huge thing so um, I'll show you guys that too later um, this is kind of gonna be a mixture between a full day of eating and just a regular vlog for you guys but um, yeah so let's go home and let's crush it <laughs> I'm so ready for eggs right now. <laughs> What's up guys? So uh, we're on our way to the gym for the second time today. Um, today is leg day. We talked about that earlier. Um, so we're going to go hit this leg day. It's going to be kind of a um, mobility, uh, not too heavy, more go for rep, um, go for broke type of workout today. Um, on today's workout, um, we have Smith Machine Squats. Uh, like I said, not very heavy. We're going to go four sets of 12. Um, just kind of the basic movements today. Um, we're going to do seated calf raises, four sets of 20. Uh, standing calf raises, three sets of 20. Um, so like a super setting. And then um, laying leg curls. We're going to go for broke on that one. And then quad extensions just to get that inner swoop. Um, so that's our workout for today. Oh, um, and then... Uh, I also have abs to do. We're going to go for 150 reps of abs today. Um, I will catch back up to you guys after my workout. And uh, hopefully it will be a good one. And uh, I'll let you guys know how it is. So we just got out of the gym. We are on our way home. And uh, I forgot to mention that my meal before my workout. So my pre-workout meal was meal number three. Um, I had seven ounces of chicken um with a little bit of garlic seasoning i'm not allowed to have sauce so no sauce anymore plain chicken and then we had um 200 grams of potatoes red potatoes i'm not allowed to have rice anymore so we are substituting the carbs with red potatoes um my workout was good I felt great. Um, we definitely went for broke for a couple of the movements. Definitely a lighter day than uh, going heavy. Um, but at the end of the day, it does the same thing. And um, as long as I had a good pump, which I had a crazy pump today, that's all that matters. Um, but we are going to go home. We're going to eat meal number four. It is around 3.30. I'll probably wait till about 4 o'clock to eat it. Um, we are going to have asparagus so a cup a cup and a quarter of asparagus and then i'm also going to throw in um about 150 grams of red potatoes and tuna i'm having six uh six ounces of tuna from now on um i'm not allowed to have any orange roughy anymore uh didn't quite agree with me so we switch over to tuna and then uh, my last meal for the day is going to be tuna again because it is a regular carb day today especially after a leg day um so that will be another six ounces and a cup of asparagus no potatoes though um and so i should feel good tonight we're gonna hang out with the boys um unfortunately you know we can't go out and eat with the boys anymore just because i'm on prep and the temptations are real um but we are going to go for a little night cruise 
Um, I might post that video. It's gonna be a separate video though, but I'm excited for that. Number four. Down the hatch. Um, we will repeat this meal for meal number five as well. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I guess I'm officially back. Um, we're gonna try to post a little bit. Um, definitely the last eight weeks of this show prep. Um, and then look forward for the show day video. Um, but with that all being said, um, I'm going to do a few more videos um, and hopefully get them out for you guys. Maybe possibly the videos that I filmed before um, and kind of go backwards um, before prep. I never posted some of those videos, um, but maybe I'll edit those and post them as well. Um, but... I'm so glad I get to say this now. Follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your passion. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.